Hey everybody, I'm Kyle. It's Jamie behind the camera. Hi guys. We are Mediocre Mechanics. Yes, we Welcome are. back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on the old Yukon. This is a 1993 GMC Yukon four wheel drive. It originally came with a TBI 350 and a 4L60 automatic. It was the E. I think 93 was the first year for the E's. Either way, uh, 2017, I swapped this with a 0553 and a Jasper Reman transmission. Uh, drove it around for a little while, enjoyed the heck out of it. It was bone stock. Uh, I came back from deployment in late, middle, early, somewhere in 2018. Mm -hmm. Came back, drove it around, enjoyed it, and decided that I wanted to uh, cam and turbo it. Mm -hmm. So I did that, put a sloppy stage two, a lot of folks, if you don't know the sloppy stage two, it's a 228, 230 duration cam, 585 lifty at 50. Really, really good cam, makes the nice chop, all that sorts of good stuff. Either way, did the cam, put a turbo in it, and blew it up shortly thereafter. From there, I, I put another uh, <laughs> Gen 353 in it, drove it around for a little while, cam only. 6500 rpm shifts it was eating it super fun pretty quick for being a cam only and as heavy as it is but that engine started smoking so we pulled that one out and we're about to put engine number three in it and uh yeah there's guess, no engine in it right now is it? yeah it's, it's it's empty you can see in there yeah it's empty so. it's uh basically all that's left in there is the wiring harness i used a psi swap harness on it all the five three stuff relocated the battery bunch of good crap like that so the engine that was in this you gave to the guy that you got the engine from that we're going to show in a minute right yeah exactly okay. and i guess uh we'll go in there and take a look at that and if y'all uh later on if if i think you have a video of this pulling a shed down yeah okay so we're getting that video too of this ride right here y'all pulling a damn shed down out of your backyard which was funny as hell yeah. so i got a whole video on it me and dad pulling it down loaded it up and you can see all the smoke that i'm talking about in that video so we're yeah if you get that we either put that one on this one or we'll just do a little short one after this video so y'all look for that video too but yep. we're gonna go show y'all the engine that's gonna go in here since there is no engine in there right now so we will be back and for y'all like that for us yep. who knows hey all right this is the engine we were talking about it's a 05 gen 3.5 53 it's got the better rods and stuff in it i've already got the rockers off on this side we got, it looks like one, two, three push rods that weren't rotating. I don't care though, I've got a whole set of good ones that came off the engine that came out of the Yukon. They're laid up over there. Okay. Either way, we're gonna pull these out, pull this head off. At the end of the day, we'll end up with heads off. We're gonna do lifters. We're gonna pull the cam out. Put a put the sloppy stage two in there, like I was saying. Uh, we have one bolt over here that's kind of kicking our butt. This guy will not come loose, uh, no matter what I tried. Tyler brought a couple sockets that we can hopefully use and not break. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Either way, I got a whole pile of gaskets, head gaskets. That gasket's around here somewhere. I know I got them. I bought them. <laughs> oh, here you go. Head gaskets. We got to do valve springs to go with the cam. And reseal it. Hopefully, we'll get all that done today. And we got, we got a 3,000 stall converter from Summit. Hey, Summit hey, Racing, Summit. all your performance parts. Your people call our people. Yeah, call us. We want you. All these parts, all the gaskets came from Rock Auto. I give Rock Auto a couple thousand dollars a year. Yeah. So I think that's about the overview of the engine and what we're trying to get done today. Sorry for the fan noise, y'all, but it's too hot to go without it. Oh, it's crazy hot. So it's August in South Alabama, so it's like. Yeah, it's 90 degrees at 10 o'clock already. in the sun. I'm trying to be considerate <laughs> of the shot. <laughs> Well, y'all remember him from when we pulled the uh, the transmission. That's yep. right. You were in there. Well, the, uh, the rear end out of the, the Suburban. Rear, the rear end, that's what it was. Yeah, that out of Suburban out of Berries yeah. and Mobile. Yeah. They have all the things that you're looking for at a reasonable price. I got to remember to do this because you're sitting there. <laughs> yeah, in there. Now, man. yeah, so Carlos <laughs> Berries will be more than glad to be sponsored by y'all. Hell yeah. So y'all, we will uh, attempt to do that. 
and then uh, we will uh, see y'all in, you know, like that. So, yeah. Hey y'all, this is uh, Kyle trying to get this. Oh, did it break? Son of a. I don't know if y'all can tell, but yeah, that thing. Cracked that one. Damn. I already cracked another one. Yeah. That thing is on there, ain't it? Yeah. I brought two. Hey, this one's made in Taiwan. That's not China. It's Taiwan. Hey, it's introduce better. yourself to everybody. I'm Tyler. Uh, I really don't know what I'm doing. So we're just here. Hey, that's par for the course. Oh, spun on that one. You don't want to round that off anymore. No. God bless Texas, man. What do you got there? I've got a uh, Craftsman 8 mil. Six point? Yeah. You mind if I break it? I'll, right. I'll buy this one for you. I don't, I'm not buying that that's one cheap two. Chinese piece of garbage. Oh, yeah, Craftsman. Yeah. With a Craftsman rat. ratchet. Let me come on this one so I can get you. All right. Very light. Man, on it. I can put a wrench on it, but I'll probably end up breaking it for sure if I put a wrench on it. Hey, this is the mediocre in the mediocre mechanic. Yeah, part. we were about to. <laughs> I'm putting a wrench on it, we're breaking it. This will be number Four. three? Yeah. Because I, I, I should have, I guess, we might have to go buy a 3 8 one. Because all the 5 6 eighths we have is quarter inch. Yeah, Craftsman for the win! <laughs> hey, look here. If you're gonna buy tools, buy quality American-made Craftsman. There you go. Hey, made in China. Now. Well, Chinese-made, but <laughs> at least they back the warranty here in America. They do. They warranty it for sure. No questions asked. Cool. Awesome stuff. So. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, so we're back. We got that's uh, definitely going to be. Oh, good. that's getting in it. <laughs> we got the engine set back on the ground. We pulled the heads off, cleaned up the deck, slapped some lifters in it. Brand new lifters. This engine was the one with the tick. Got the front assembly and cam back in there. We got brand new ploys, time and chain, and the sloppy stage two. Brand new oil pan gasket, rear cover gasket, rear main seal. Uh, you saw us put the engine transmission together. And then take it back apart. And then take it back apart. Currently they're apart. I need thread locker for the torque converter bolts. And uh, make sure that it's like the, the measurements and everything. The It's an aftermarket summit converter. So I want to make sure that I'm not pulling it too close. Pulling it too far out of the transmission to where it, it, the tanks for the pump don't line up and turn the pump. That'll definitely screw you up. So we'll have to do some measuring next time. But I think that's where we're gonna be left off for today. So that's it for today, y'all. We'll be back when we put this thing, hopefully, back together completely. Yeah. So y'all uh, stay tuned for that. Swing it in the Yukon. Yeah, we'll put it in the Yukon. And then uh, y'all like and subscribe, please. Yeah. Give us a we'll thumbs up. We'll catch you up. next time, huh? Yeah, we will be next time. Back here with Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. And Muffin Mayhem. We'll be back. Muffin Mayhem! <laughs>